Hey, what's going on? Y'all Jay from JS Films. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can generate some talking avatars using OmniHuman inside Dreamina, like how I've been uploading them on YouTube and social media. So first things first is go to dreamina.capcut.com. I am not sponsored. I am strictly just making this video. Now you can generate your own image using your image generator. So you can see here, uh, but for the sake of this video, I already have one. So I can go straight to lip sync. And in here, under AI avatar, I will just say import character image. You can add it from the assets within, but I'll just upload it from my computer. And once that's done, I have two options as far as the generation effect. I have been using master. I did try the fast version. This is a lot cheaper than this. But to me, this one gets a little bit blurrier. So I'm going to stick with master mode. And under the lip sync mode, you have two options. You have text to speech or upload your own dialogue. I'll just do text to speech for now. So I'll just go in here. Do you think world? All right, so it's a question. And right below that, you're going to find some voices. You're probably going to recognize some of these uh, because they're using 11 labs like Charlotte here. Yeah, that's really nice. That's one of my favorite. Now, one of the cool things about using this here, sometimes some AI generators, they charge you for preview, but this one doesn't look like it's charging me whenever I do preview a voice. So I'll select... I'm going to select Charlotte because that's one of my favorites. And then after that, if I look at the bottom here, it's going to use 48 credits, which, man, I'm running out. But let's go ahead and generate this. And then just wait it out. Do you think I want to take over your world? This is pretty bananas. Now, obviously, one of the uh, downsides right now is that there is a 15 seconds uh, limitation on the generation themselves. I wish they would raise this up for paid because I am a paid user. So... It's pretty incredible. This is great for like quick stuff like this. Now, obviously, if you live in a city where you have access to like talents and actors and actresses, it's probably cheaper to hire people locally. Um, but no, beforehand, I would do like freelancers. But nowadays, I'm starting to find out that their freelancers online are actually using AI now too. So if I'm not doing like actual people, I'd rather just do the AI myself. But obviously, this is still... I mean, there's only a certain use cases you can do with this kind of technology. It's not going to replace, like, an actual person. Um, but for, like, tutorial videos or walkthroughs, if this is going to be cheaper, it's it's a pretty good option. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, man. If y'all uh, want to see more AI content, let me know in the comments below. Honestly, uh, Unreal Engine video views right now are down because I think AI is just taking over. So I'm trying to do both. That said, until then, I'll see y'all in the next one.